Nintendo has just updated Tears of the Kingdom to version 1.2.1, and in doing so, removed most of the glitches, but they didn't get all of them. So today, I'm going to go over every glitch that still works in 1.2.1 and show you how to perform each and every one of them. First up is a trick that's been around since the beginning, and that's recall launching. This trick lets you launch yourself incredibly high in the air by abusing recall. For this, you'll need any spear with a wooden board or other oblong material fused to it, and a platform to stand on. Wings tend to work better. To do this, you'll want to lay your wing down and stand to the side of it like this. Then you want to hold out your spear and aim it around here. Now as soon as you release to throw the spear, you want to quickly pull up recall and use it on the spear. As soon as you do, you want to swap to Ultra Hand and immediately grab it while it's frozen in place. Pay close attention to the angle your spear is at. You need to have this angle or it won't work. Attach it to the edge of your wing and hop on. Now recall the spear you attach to the wing and position yourself on the opposite side. If you did everything correctly, you should get launched straight up into the air. Next on our list is Hydro Clipping. This glitch will allow you to clip through the ground just about anywhere. For this, you'll need any unfused weapon, spears tend to be easier, a hydrant, and a control stick. The first thing you want to do is fuse the hydrant to your melee weapon. Then you need to unequip the hydrant weapon and re-equip it. Now take out your control stick, place it where you want to clip through the ground, then stand on it. Now throw your Hydrant weapon and immediately pull up Recall. Wait for about 30 to 40 seconds, then cancel Recall and mash A to mount the control stick. Once you do, you should start falling through the floor and straight out of bounds. Make sure you unequip and re-equip your Hydrant weapon every time you throw it, otherwise it won't build lag while Recall is up. This glitch can also be used to clip through walls with a shield jump, however this is very precise and not many working locations are known. Moving on, we have Vendor Scamming. This glitch will let you max out your rupees in just a few minutes. For our requirements, you'll need any bow, any melee weapon, and any shield all equipped at the same time. You'll need whatever item you want to sell. This won't be lost and there's no quantity restriction. So the more it's worth and the more you have, the faster this will go. Then you'll need a horse and the ability to view memories from the Pura Pad. For our location, we'll need to find any shop vendor that you can reach with your horse. Make sure the vendor doesn't have a quest available or this will mess up the glitch. For our steps, the first thing we need to do is perform a jump slash cancel. This can be done by drawing your bow back, then jumping and bringing up one of the bow menus in the air, either right on the d-pad while you're holding ZR or just pausing the game. From here, unequip your bow and then immediately jump slash with Y as soon as the menu disappears and pause as soon as you've done that. If done correctly, you should see Link kind of pop up in the air where he was a little bit right before the menu opens. And when you get into the menu, you'll have the ability to hold items in your hand. Find the items that you want to sell and hold at least one of them. You can hold up to five if you want, but you only need to hold one. While holding this item or these items, press minus, then go to your adventure log and load up one memory. Like always, anytime we watch a memory or a glitch, you don't need to watch it, you can just skip right through it with X and plus. Once that's done, press plus to go back into your menu, and you'll see that you're no longer holding those items. If you see that you're still holding them, that means you performed the jump slash cancel without a shield equip. Go back, equip a shield, and restart from there. So from here, we want to rehold our items, the same ones that we held before the memory, and then close the menu, and you should land on your horse. And when this happens, you may see your items fall to the ground, but don't worry, that's normal. Now, on your horse, head over to the vendor, and when you get up to them, you'll notice that you can't speak to them. To fix this, all you need to do is hold down R, and then press up on the D-pad to select any item to take out in your hand. Doesn't matter what item, you just need to put an item in your hand, and then while you're holding that item, you'll regain the ability to talk to NPCs from the horse. So once you talk to your vendor, select the sell option, now go find the item that you're holding. And when you select it, select sell all of them. When you sell them, you'll see that the quantity in the inventory is gonna go down into the negatives by however many you were holding when you did the glitch. So if you were holding five, then you'll have negative five. If you're holding three, you'll have negative three and so on. Once you see that, just press B to close out of the sell menu. And when the option comes back up again, 
go back into it, and you'll see that all of those items have come back to your inventory. So now you can just go down, select them, sell all of them again, and you can rinse and repeat and do this as many times as you want until you've maxed out your rupees. When you're done, simply jump off the horse and press B to put those items back in your inventory and you'll be right back to where you were when you started with a bunch of extra free money. Be aware that sorting your inventory during this process will break the glitch and can cause you to lose all of your item stack. Next up, we have minus duping. This will allow you to duplicate up to 21 of any item that you have five or less of. To do this, you'll need all the same requirements as vendor scamming, with the exception that instead of getting as many as you want of an item that you're gonna sell, you want to get the item that you want to duplicate and that can only have a maximum quantity of five or less. Like before, our first step is to perform a jump slash cancel, just like with vendor scamming. So once you're in the menu, you're gonna go through and you're gonna hold all of the item that you want to duplicate until it shows zero in the inventory. So if you've only got three of them, then you need to hold all three. If you've got five, you need to hold all five. Now, like before, we wanna press minus, head to our venture log and load up one memory. When that's done, press plus to go back to your inventory, and once again, you should see that you're holding no items. Rehold those same items, then close the menu to land on your horse. Again, you'll probably see the items fall to the ground and start rolling around. From here, hold up on the D-pad and scroll through your item list until you find the items you're holding. This will show as a quantity of zero in your item menu. Now select that item and then throw however many of them you're holding onto the ground. So if you were holding five of them, you need to throw five of them. If you were holding three, you need to throw three and so on. Once you've thrown all your items, simply jump off the horse and the original items that fell to the ground are gonna return to your hand. Then just press A to drop those and pick everything back up. And if you go back in your inventory, you'll see that the item that you started with has now doubled in quantity. This can be repeated up to 21 of any item that doesn't have a thrown effect, such as gem, star fragments, the dragon horns, etc. However, this limit can be bypassed by pairing minus duping with our next glitch, which is called dispenser storage. This glitch lets you bypass the 21 item limit for the ground. To do this, you'll need any device dispenser that you can reach with a horse, two fans, though one of those can be replaced with a rock if you want, or alternatively, a stabilizer. However, using a stabilizer will add a time limit to your glitch. To set it up, simply attach your fans at a 45 degree angle by the rim, and place them on the side of your dispenser's hatch. Now deposit any item into the dispenser, and when it comes back out, you'll see that that hatch is staying open. Now take your fans and wedge them up into the opening like so. And once you've done that, you simply perform minus duping until you have a pile of about 20 items. Then pick them all up, deposit all but five into the dispenser, and then use those five to keep duping and repeat. And then once you're done, simply recall the fans to remove them then mash A to grab all of your items as they pour out. Be aware that when duping over 21 items, you need to pick them up at least as fast as they come out, otherwise they'll accumulate and start despawning. The purpose of dispenser storage is to get you past the item limit for the ground. When items are on the ground, you can only have a maximum of 21 before they start despawning in the order that they were dropped. However, when you put items inside a device dispenser, that little space that they're stored in isn't subject to that 21 item limit. So you can store as many items as you want in that dispenser, which is why this will let you get more than the 21 items with minus duping, because you can dupe up to that ground limit, deposit all of them, and then redupe up to that ground limit, deposit them again, redupe, and so on. Our next glitch is called Zoni Inventory Shift Duplication, or ZISD for short. This glitch allows you to duplicate up to 10 of a Zonai device when you have less than 10 of it already. To do this, you'll need the device you want to dupe, any other device with a quantity of 10 or more, and a third device with a quantity of only one. You'll also need the ability to view memories from the PuraPad. For location, you'll need any ledge that Link needs to step up onto that's also in a spot where you can be facing directly into a wall. For the video, I'll be continuing my trend of using Lookout Landing, and you can come right over here to this little corner for the perfect place to perform the glitch. 
Now the first thing we need to do is sort our Zonai devices in a specific way because we need our three devices to be in a certain order in the menu. The single device first, the device with 10 or more second, and the device we're duping last. The easiest way to do this is by throwing the devices with R and picking them up in the same order. So first we'll throw our single device and pick it back up, then we'll throw our 10 and pick those up. Again, the stack can be more than 10, but the closer it is to 10, the faster this part will be. Then finally, throw all of the device that you want to duplicate and pick them back up. This should sort them to the bottom of your device list in the order of single device, stack of 10 or more, then duping device from left to right. Once that's done, we're ready to actually start the glitch. First thing we want to do is get up on our ledge and take out the single Zonai device by holding R and selecting it with up on the D-pad. With the device in our hand, we want to walk sideways off the ledge and press plus once we're in the air. From here, we want to go into our devices and select the one with 10 or more and fill the device bar with 10 of them. Now, we're going to press minus and go load up one memory. As always, this can be skipped. Once that's done, press plus to go back into your inventory and you'll see that the device you want to dupe will now have 10 removed from its quantity. So if you had only one, like I did, it should be showing a quantity of negative nine now. When you see this, close out of your menu and you should throw the device you were holding and get a message saying you can't take that out here. You can pick the device you threw back up and if you look into your inventory, you'll see that you now have 10 of the device you wanted to duplicate. For our last glitch, we have midair throw duplication. This glitch will allow you to duplicate up to 21 of any Zonai device when you only have one of that device in your inventory. Now, on prior versions, this could be used to duplicate any throwable item. However, this last update kind of changed some of the systems that that relied on. And as a consequence, we're now only able to use this to duplicate Zonai devices. So to do this, you'll need any one device that you want to duplicate and a small ledge that you can walk off that's directly facing a wall. If you don't have a space like this to use, you can create one by just building a ramp and placing that ramp next to a wall. So to perform this, you'll need to stand on your ledge and take out the device that you want to duplicate by holding R and selecting it with up on the D-pad. With your item in hand, face the wall, walk off the ledge, and press plus as soon as you go airborne. Once in your menu, move over to your Zonai devices and select the one that you're holding to deploy it. And then when you close out of your menu, you'll see that you throw the device in your hand and you get a message on screen saying you can't take that out here. If you pick up the device you threw and check your inventory, you'll see that you now have two of that item. And that covers every glitch that still works in version 1.2.1. I know it's not the best, I know it's not as many as we were hoping for, but at least we do have something, and here's a nice comprehensive list of everything that we still have for you. If you liked the video, do me a favor and leave it a like, and if you know of a glitch that I missed, let me know down in the comments. I'll be streaming daily on Twitch starting real soon, so go follow me over there if you haven't already, the link will be on screen and in the description. If you'd like to join the community over in the Discord, I'll have a link to that down in the description as well. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on new videos. And as always, I'll see you next time.